the health department is considering giving priority testing to groups that need it the most. This as lines and testing centers continue to get longer. COVID, COVID infections continue to rise. Mon Gualvez with the story. It was a two-hour wait for motorists at this diagnostic laboratory in Pasay City. Even walk-ins wanting to get tested had to wait for hours. According to the laboratory, they even have converted a vaccination site into a testing center just to accommodate the influx of those wanting to get swabbed. But with the high demand comes the delays in releasing results. The lab is functioning normally and then it's just more of um, pushing out the results from the initial influx that happened during the start of the search. For DOH, the sudden onslaught of people wanting to get tested for COVID-19 isn't new. It's just that right now, the huge chunk of manpower of the testing laboratories at the moment have been tested positive for COVID-19. For this testing laboratory in Manila, this means servicing only those with appointments. So far, na manage naman natin. From time to time, ang gate namin open and close. May mga clients na gustong gusto magpatest. As much as we want to, hindi talaga natin sila kayang i-accommodate. The laboratory said it is also prioritizing OFWs, those in vulnerable sector, and those already experiencing symptoms. They also don't do express results for the meantime. We tried na uh, ibigay sa kanila as fast as we could. Pero syempre, we can only uh, give so much then, di ba? Kasi nga, limited ang manpower. Speaking on the Chiefs, Health Undersecretary Maria Rosario Verjeres said that they are considering a prioritized COVID testing policy amid the increasing demand. No, ang testing dapat, clinical management, i-prioritize natin yung mga vulnerable natin. Senior citizens, those with comorbidities, yung mga immunocompromised, our healthcare workers. Should this be approved, Verjeres says those not in the priority list to isolate immediately to prevent spreading the virus. For News 5, Mon Gualvez, we are One News.